For many people, trains are just one part of your daily commute. They're something that takes you from point A to point B, hopefully with a minimum of fuss and saving you the hassles of needing to find a park or making sure the car has enough fuel. But for other people, trains are a way of life. They're a thing of beauty, an engineering marvel, an obsession. It might have started as kids watching Thomas the Tank Engine, but as they got bigger, so did the engines. If simply riding the rails isn't enough for you, here are three very different train games to help you pass the time. If you're lucky, you might even be able to play them on your commute. For long-time train spotters, there is, of course, one name that's synonymous with the genre, Transport Tycoon. First released back in 1994 and significantly revamped just a year later, it was by no means the first transport business simulator, but it took a lot of the best bits of the others and merged them into one glorious network. If you ever wanted to play SimCity without all the actual building stuff, Chris Sawyer and the team at Micropros had exactly what the doctor ordered. From its tinkly, jazzy soundtrack to the simple, neat, isometric graphics, Transport Tycoon had it all. Either by yourself or racing against a handful of AI opponents, your task was to connect a map of industries and townships to help the local economy and make a decent amount of cash for yourself. Trace train tracks between the forest and the sawmill, send a fleet of boats to carry oil to the refinery, or fill trucks with livestock en route to the factory. While the original game still holds up very well, if you want something that's regularly updated, works just like the 90s classic and is absolutely free to play, OpenTTD has come to your rescue. Created by a dedicated group of fans back in 2004, this open source homage now features an impressive library of vehicles and custom maps and means an all new generation can check out this bit of transport perfection. At the other end of the spectrum, there is the simply titled Train Simulator, available on Steam. The entry price starts at a perfectly reasonable $25, and it promises to fully immerse you in a world of trains, transporting you to a place where you decide what to do, where, and when. And while you're doing that deciding, you might like to check out some of the DLC that's on offer for the game. At last count, there are nearly 450 different DLC packs, each with a price tag varying from about 5 bucks for a simple coach pack, up to the more significant $40 for an entirely new 98 mile route that winds around the British Isles. As you can imagine, all of them together add up to around $7,000. And while you do get an awful lot of trains and maps for that money, it still does get rather expensive. But nobody in their right mind would buy every single piece, much like you wouldn't buy every single type of biscuit on the supermarket shelf just because you enjoy tasty baked goods. Instead, each piece of Train Simulator DLC has been carefully designed with a very specific audience in mind. If you love iconic American locos and want to recreate the journey between Chicago and San Francisco, you should pick up the California Zephyr pack, but you can easily skip over the stuff that focuses on old-style British steam engines or the complicated and uber-accurate European maps. This one really is for the gunzels, the train spotters, the people obsessed with the finer details of the railway, but if that's what you identify as, it is perfect. And finally, a must have for the minimalist train spotters, despite being more about maps than trains, Mini Metro. I've sung the praises of this one before, and after recently revisiting the game on Android, I am singing them again even more loudly. In a world where every game seems to want to cram more stuff into less space, Mini Metro takes a very different approach. It's one of the most minimal, pared back experiences I've played in a long time, and is all the more enjoyable for it. The New Zealand-based developer has paired the concept of transport right back to its barest essentials and then polished those up and presented them as a super addictive little package. While the other games on this list might let you play stations and manage vehicles, Mini Metro does all of that stuff for you. Instead, the game starts with a clean white map with just three stations. More stations pop up throughout the course of the game and passengers line up at each one. Each person is represented by the icon of where they'd like to go, and your task is simply to make sure they can get there by placing tracks between them. It's like an interactive, addictive subway map with layouts inspired by real-world locations including London, St. Petersburg, San Francisco and even Melbourne. Create a shuttle system funneling everyone into a central loop or a sprawling spaghetti tangle that tries to be everything to everyone. No matter what your approach, once you climb aboard the mini metro train, it will be a while before you can bring yourself to disembark. (laughs) 